Hi, and welcome to Mighty Fine Shindig, a Firefly podcast from Common Room Radio. I'm Liz Stevens. I'm Vinton Bain. And I'm Sarah Kate Pizant. And they stripped her amygdala. She feels everything. She can't not. It's so true. It's so true, Sarah. <laughs> that is you. That's what happened all this time. We didn't know. No, we had no <laughs> amygdala was stripped yep. this whole time. Yeah. We know now. My amygdala is synthetic. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Are you also like a secret engineered weapon? Basically, because yes. that would be really cool. I think mm-hmm. that's probably the yeah. case. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That explains I, all those crazy dreams you have about being a superhero. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's that's just what I do in the nighttime. That's why I wake up covered in like bruises and scratches and things. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Head cannon accepted. Yes. So For today <laughs> we are talking about the episode Ariel. It's a good episode. Yeah. It really is a good tight episode. It's mm-hmm. got that fun heist movie feel. Yeah. Which I, I really like heist movies. I yes. like heist movies too, which makes me think that I need to rewatch Ant-Man because the first time I watched Ant-Man, I wasn't expecting a heist movie. I was expecting like the yeah. Avengers and all uh-huh. the other superhero films. Um, and so initially I really didn't like Ant-Man, but I like Paul Rudd quite a bit. I do like Paul I Rudd. Do. So I feel like, like I need movies. to watch yep. it again with the knowledge that this is not, this, this is a heist movie and give it another <laughs> well, shot. Well, I hope that fixes it for you at least somewhat because I do enjoy that movie and it does sadden me that most people don't. I, I don't remember. I, it's not a perfect movie. Yeah. But I well, no, none it. of them are. True. Certainly. I'm certain that expectations got in the way yes. of my enjoyment of that film. So I should give it another try. Mm-hmm. But I was one of those. I firmly recall flipping off the screen with we, two we hands. Yeah, because we had no. We were <laughs> what? What is, is going happening? on? What's was, happening? I think when the giant Thomas the Train crashed into the house. Yeah, just like that what was a little over am, the top. I'm but. done. What am superhero? <laughs> 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 but I, I think that's right. Like if, if you change your expectations, if I went into it, you know, quirky Paul Rudd heist movie, somewhat, I don't know if grim is the right word, but it wasn't, it didn't have as much polish as those other yeah. Marvel Sure, movies. yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It didn't have that like shiny chrome vibranium thing going mm-hmm. on. <laughs> so maybe I could give it another shot. Yeah, we'll have to try that out sometime. But this episode was directed by Alan Croker, who has directed... A ton of television. Oh, Oh, yeah. Like, there's no way I could finish this list by the time we're done with this podcast. Oh, wow. But just to name a few, really weirdly, 13 episodes of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Voyager, 13 episodes, 13 episodes of Star Trek Enterprise. I must have had it in this contract. If I'm going to do Star Trek, it has to be 13 episodes. 13 episodes. (laughs) My lucky number, y'all. Only two episodes of Battlestar Galactica, one episode of Supernatural. Which episodes? Uh, Battlestar Galactica, I'm not sure. Okay. I I did write down the Supernatural one because I thought you might ask. Okay, It's Faith from 2006. Not sure what season, but the episode's called Faith. That's the one where, isn't that uh, when they meet with the Grim Reaper for the first time and it's like the Faith? healer and oh yes yeah so he, sure is he directed a good that yeah that was a good episode uh, he directed an episode of pushing daisies an episode of dollhouse pushing another, daisies another is great too. Work. Dollhouse, uh-huh. uh and then an up ep- nine episodes of bones and eight episodes of chuck and then a couple of shows i've never heard of after that okay. so i'm not that sure what fun. he's doing right wow. now huh. but this episode was also written by jose molina i'm just guessing on these names i've never heard them actually say. right <laughs> but <laughs> he's, doing right. Best. Sure. he's done a lot of uh producing and a lot of writing he wrote for Deep Space Nine, uh, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, two episodes of Castle, so he's worked with Nathan Fillion, of, mm-hmm. like a lot of cool. people on Firefly end up doing. Uh, wrote for Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and he wrote two episodes of Agent Carter. One Ooh. of them was the episode, oh, I can't remember the title, but it's the episode where she goes and hangs out with the Howling Commandos. Is it yes. Better Angels? Yes, yes. yes. No, 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 no. no. The, the Iron other Ceiling. One. The Iron Ceiling. Okay. Yeah, that's the name those of that the, one. I knew those were the two. I didn't know yeah. what happened in the uh, episode. The Iron <laughs> Ceiling is a great episode. Like, the first season so of great. Agent Carter, I think, is one of the most perfect seasons of television it's really fantastic. ever it's really yeah. really fantastic and that episode in particular is just so so good you learn yes. more about like jack's backstory and all yeah. of that and also you just get to run around the with the first time Commandos. i ever cared about him yeah in the least. and just see and how Helen great so peggy great. is and like do as peggy do says as, he would say do as peggy says that was the first <laughs> time we got that yeah yes. that was yeah. excellent agreed and he'll be returning to write another episode of firefly so we'll be bringing him up oh, which again one? Trash. That's a great episode. It That's is when, another uh, really good one. Christina Hendricks comes back. It's another kind of a heist one, too. It kind of is. Yeah. Interesting. He's good at heists, I, I suppose. Guess so. Excellent. Well, and this episode was interesting, too, because there was a lot of um, uh, exposition with Simon just saying, well, this is what we're going to do. And he talked for a long time. He just he really monologued. Did. There was for just a lot of while. voiceover from yeah. Simon. But there was a lot of show and tell happening yes. at the same time in mm-hmm. unison. 
and it was really working for me, actually. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite things about a heist film is when yeah. you have the monologue telling you the plan while they're showing you them executing the plan. Right. Yes, yeah. yes, and you really do need both. You yes. really do. <laughs> you yeah. do not yeah. want to just watch a man sit and talk about the plan. And right, exactly. Else. You see the plan <laughs> yeah. in action, just like in every Ocean's 11, 12, 14, 78 right. movie. You know, I don't know. <laughs> what are they up to? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The army. <laughs> Ocean's, <laughs> Ocean's, Ocean's, Ocean's army. Ocean's, Ocean's <laughs> army. <laughs> <laughs> they finally took down that freaking casino. <laughs> kind of like the the way Ocean's Battalion rules. Ocean's, 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 Ocean's Navy. Navy. Ocean's Navy. That's a little too yes. on the nose. Uh, <laughs> come on, Sarah, get your act together. My bad. Sorry. I'm Amateur. a sleeper cell fighter, not some sort of genius wordsmith. Forgive her. She has no amygdala. I have no amygdala. <laughs> Will be my new excuse for Sarah, and then it can get right. a chance too. I can get. Right? We can probably convince people of that. Time for some thrilling heroics. So we open up the episode uh, on Serenity. We see Jane uh, sharpening up his knives and messing uh -huh. with his tools yeah, over he's there. Cleaning a gun as well. I think. Mm -hmm. And then we see Anara and Kaylee sitting at the table. They're all in the mess hall, and uh, Anara and Kaylee are playing dominoes or probably mahjong or something yeah, similar something, to that. Something, like that. Tile something game. with tiles. Um, and uh, uh, Simon is trying to get River to eat some of the protein meal, and he's like, "No, it's good." And he takes a bite of it, and he's like, "It's." It's good when very clearly it's, it's terrible. Smells like crotch. Jane Blah. says, smells like crotch. And then Kaylee just goes, Jane? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Which I just, this is another real, like we have a lot of really great Jane episodes. We've had yeah. several really it's excellent true. Jane episodes in a row. Yeah. Um, and again, I know that Jane is supposed to be an unlovable bastard, but my God, do I love this man yep. <laughs> so much <laughs> with all my heart and soul. Um, we see Zoe and Wash walking in, and Wash is trying to convince Zoe that they can uh, go and like have fun. They can right. go, uh, you know, to a restaurant or someplace. Or and then uh, Anara starts talking about how like there are all these museums and uh, all the best restaurants in the core. And then Wash goes, "Yeah, but not." boring like how she made it <laughs> yes. so, museums aren't boring wash and it's you literally true. just mentioned a restaurant well and uh, <laughs> how do you guys feel about zoe and wash in that scene i actually i like them because even though zoe is like no i'm not setting foot on this planet i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go like they still it it doesn't seem like that really uh, strained, like tension filled fighting that right. we've seen in the past that I dislike. This seems like playful banter yeah. to me. This seems more playful than some of the stuff that we've okay. disliked as much in the past. Okay. Yeah, it does seem more playful. Yeah, I'll and I can that. see it feeling a little bit weird, uh, especially since we don't really know anything about the planet they're talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah. So we don't know that if, if Zoe has any backing to her saying that she doesn't want to go down there. Uh, but I think they do fix it later in the episode when we see some interaction between them that they does do make it a fix lot it better. later. Yeah. yeah. I, I do think it's, again, just very dismissive and I didn't like it. Right. But I'm, I'm still just trying to wrap my head around their relationship. Sure. Yeah. But I do. I think that from writer to writer, it really changes a it lot. It really not everybody does. Apparently, not, not everybody, everybody gets, gets me and Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> 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 it was a self-fulfilling prophecy right Indeed. there. Indeed. Uh, we find out that Shepherd Book uh, was dropped off at an abbey. Yeah. Um, it's kind of weird. He's just not in this episode. Just not in this episode. Yeah, and, uh, you know, a lot of these, ep these episodes, I've found a lot of background information on the production. Right. Sure. A lot of production notes. Even the book doesn't have very much information on this episode. And there's almost none online. So I, they don't say why he's not in this episode. Maybe he was doing something. I don't know. Right. That's really interesting. And yeah, and we get almost no Inara either. Literally just here at the beginning yeah. and then at the very, very end. She's kind of book ends um, And I mean, that at least is uh, plot relevant because she's supposed to be going and like getting her companion examination. Right. Uh, which Physical. two whole days. God, that sounds terrible. Yep. <laughs> It does sound terrible. You would think in the future that they would have, I don't know, some quicker way of getting like this Like a done. way quicker way. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, let us scan you real quick. All right, you're good. Exactly. Yeah. Like, just, I don't know, let's just draw Old some blood really noodles. super noodles. quick and we'll make sure that I you mean, don't they, have any. They do show that there is equipment that can just scan your I whole know. body. Yeah. That's yeah. Too like, expensive. Just slap a companion yeah. into a neural imager and I mean, like, <laughs> let her go on her merry way. <laughs> Oh, man. And, you know, like the government, we'll mail you your certificate in three to four months. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, I really enjoy Jane's joke there about uh, how, because um, uh, Mal comes in and he's like, nobody's getting off the boat. Uh, you know, we we are just here to drop off an hour and then we're going to get out of here. And that's when we learn about Book being off at the mm -hmm. Abbey. And uh, Mal says, you could be, you know, contemplating your rock garden by now. And mm -hmm. Jane goes, well, it beats just sitting and <laughs> wash his face. 
It is just it sitting. Is just <laughs> sitting. <laughs> I really like when Wash says two days in the hospital. That's awful. Don't you just hate doctors? And Simon goes, hey. <laughs> and Wash goes, I mean, present company excluded. And then Jane retorts, let's not be excluding people. That's rude. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> so <laughs> good. <laughs> just lo- such quick back and forth. Yes. Banter. Jane really is actually quite smart in this episode. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. rude. And also like just very particularly quippy, which yeah. I always really, I love the quippiness of every Joss Whedon production. Of it's course. one of my favorite things. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then we get our River WTF moment. Take a drink. Yeah. <laughs> River just takes a knife and slashes Jane across the chest. And we're all like, oh, uh, what? Yeah. She, apparently she it's crazy. deep. Like, yeah. we're told that it's a yeah. deep cut. Yeah. He's bleeding. He needs stitches And all it. she says is, he looks better in red. Which Damn, is super hella creepy. Yeah. Right? Super. This, like, what? <laughs> also, Jane does straight up punch her in the face. And yeah, he I'm. back in. He's like, right. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I'm sure that her. this uh, will have come up in the live tweet. Uh, but I'm okay with it because she literally did just slash open yeah. his chest with a knife. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> if a woman comes at you with a knife, I think you're allowed you gotta to do her. something. <laughs> <laughs> You can't just let that keep continuing. Right. You can't just be like, well, I can't hit a girl. She. <laughs> anyway. I'm usually for the restraining method if, yes, if there's a confrontation, right. but you just got slashed in the chest. You, right. you got to react quick. Yeah. 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 Rather oh, wrong. <laughs> Um, so then we cut to, we see Jane in the med bay and he's uh, yelling at Mal about how like they have got to get rid of River. She's going to mm-hmm. go crazy. And he, um, I thought it was really interesting that the two people that he points out, he's telling Mal, you know, next time that little sister decides to go all murder crazy, it could be Kaylee she goes after or Anara. He's totally trying Which, to play with his emotions. He's but it was absolutely again, trying very to. Very smart. That yeah. was a smart move. Right. That it's was exactly like, the very right. manipulative. Yes, yeah. Jane obviously knows that there are two people. I mean, like he's not going to mention Zoe because clearly Zoe would be able to she hold her own. Yeah, yeah, she'd take care of herself. Also, she shares a bunk with Wash. It would be harder to be able to like just sure. sneak up on them. Right. But Anara sleeps by herself, and Kaylee sleeps by herself. Kaylee is everybody's baby sister. Yeah. So, and of absolutely Mal's baby is sister. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yeah, does Jane like know about the will they won't they feelings that Anara and Mal have for each other? Is I he think that astute? Everybody knows I about probably those feelings. So. Yeah. Surely. <laughs> Everyone but Mal and Anara know about Mal and Anara. Is that what it is? I think it's something like that. Okay, yes. I do really like the way Mal deals with this because he tells Jane, this isn't your problem, and I'm not going to have you talk to me like that or Mm -hmm. about my crew like that. He says, this is my boat. They're part of my crew. No one's getting left. Best you get used to that. Mm -hmm. And then he sends Jane out, and then he deals with Simon. He doesn't let Jane see him dealing with Simon. Right. Just like a good captain or a good teacher or a good a parent, anything like that. Mm-hmm. When you have that leadership ability, you don't let other people undermine you and you don't let other people tell you the way you're going to do things. Right. You send them out. So that's none of your business. Right. That's my business between me and him. Mm-hmm. And then you deal with that business. Yeah. yeah. He's such a great captain. He's a great captain. So, so excellent. Uh, so then we cut to, we see Kaylee and Anara are walking along, and that's when we learn about uh, a little more about Anara going to be going and doing um, this examination. And I love Kaylee's necklace. Kaylee is wearing a necklace that looks like it's made out of Scrabble tiles that spells Kaylee, and it's kind oh, of my favorite I thing. Did not this. Oh, it's so cute. That. And darling, I do need that thing. I'll look for one. I'll, I'll figure, figure it out. out. Yeah, okay. I guarantee it's on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sure. Um, and then Kaylee asks, uh, Kaylee says something along the lines of, maybe you'll meet a nice, handsome doctor. He'll fall in love with you. And what's the dating policy for companions? And Anara just goes, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can only imagine. Yes. yes. Uh, you do have Mal telling Simon that River needs to stay contained in yes. her room from mm-hmm. now on. Right. That she can only leave with his permission because this is a danger to his crew. Yeah. And he says that the deal was, when we took you on the ship, was that you take care of your sister right. and you can stay here. If you can't, controller then we're gonna have to revisit the deal yeah and so there is that bit of tension and, and mm-hmm. simon super understandable here i really like it. i he doesn't like get that emotional. too yeah yes. he goes i yes i understand and she said and then mal shows that he cares and says she's getting worse isn't she yeah. and he says yes yeah i love that moment because he they're showing that he's showing that he cares mal cares yeah. and simon is understanding and mal that's is so the good best yeah. dad. He's it the is best a, dad. it is a great moment but it's so a great cut, moment for both of them yeah. So we cut from Kaylee and Anara to Jane and Mal playing horseshoes on the cargo bay. And Wash and Zoe watch as they discuss their lack of jobs. Mm-hmm. And how they just haven't been able to yeah. get a job recently anymore. Last and three they're, places they've been, there haven't been any jobs yeah, there They're either. definitely not getting one on Ariel because it's uh, run by the Alliance. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a core planet. But then Simon enters the room and says he has a job for them. And we get our title.
title break. It's a long cold open. Like yeah, it is. I rem- you like forget when it's a cold you open. You forget that it's a cold open. Yeah, for some reason, like I, I watched this episode twice today, and the second time I was watching it, I thought for sure that the cold open came after River slashed open Jane's chest. Yeah, it was like Which oh, is this is the natural place, place yeah. for the cold open. But no, we we keep going. Like we do not. Um, we don't waste time with our cold opens. Like they they we either have. I, I don't remember the last time we had a particularly quick one, but I feel like in several episodes we've been like, wow, that was like a really long cold open. Like yeah, it just kept going and going. Um, but we do spend quite a long time kind of setting the uh, foundation for what our episode is going to be and what's going on here. And so, yeah, Simon tells everybody that he has a job for them. And then he starts explaining about uh, the medicine and right. uh, the like just street value for these medicines. And he's like, and this is just what I have in my med kit on right. board. The hospital has so much more of this. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm going to be paying you with. And um, come to find out that in the... Uh, St. Lucy's is the name of the hospital that inside of St. Lucy's there's this neural imager that Simon would be able to use to examine River and that the way he wants to pay the crew because all of his accounts are frozen the boy doesn't actually have any money right. is to tell them how to steal all of this medicine mm-hmm. um, from this Alliance run hospital uh, Kaylee I thought was really smart pointing out being like I don't want to be negative but doesn't the hospital need that medicine? Which is great <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. and they say well because it's run by the Alliance it's going to be replaced in a matter of right. hours and, yeah, and, and they would never miss other it. Plans that's the poor that aren't Alliance run that could use that medicine. Which is which perfect, I of love. course. That's going to appeal to everybody. Yeah. Very Robin Hood. And I love that well, wash quite. line. I love that uh, wash line that touches on that. It's all very sweet. Stealing from the rich, selling to the poor. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I do like right here, I think the characters are played very well, especially Jane, when he's handed the medicine and then Simon tells him how much it's worth. He just grips it that much tighter. Oh, and when yeah. Simon goes to take it back, he doesn't want to give it to yes. him. <laughs> But Simon mentions that to set up this plan, they're going to need some things. Yes. And he says, there's... I love seeing everybody get excited. Like, yes, yes, exactly. (laughs) Pick me. Yeah, they say, we need someone to get off the ship. And they've just been talking about how they wanted to get off the ship. So so Wash, Kaylee, and Jane just lift their hands immediately like, me, 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 me. (laughs) And Zoe just looks at Wash like, all right. (laughs) It's very cute. Yeah. Mal looks very kind of put out there. A little bit. I wonder why. Just because it wasn't his idea, you think? Well, no. I wonder if it's just just kind of like an extra dig. Like he's had to listen to everybody complain about like they want to yes, get off the ship, exactly. they want to go to all these places, oh, and I see. suddenly Simon's like, "Well, I'm going to need people to get off the ship." Oh, 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 oh! Yeah. <laughs> like, Damn it, you guys. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, I like that. Everything I do, I do it I for do you. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day now. Oh, good. It's Lucky one of my you. favorites. <laughs> There's no love like your love. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> It's at that moment that we get our high scene of Simon telling them the plans as they're doing the things. Mm -hmm. And we see that Kaylee and Wash are digging through a dump to find items that need to make a vehicle to grant, give them access to the hospital. Yes. And when they're rummaging through this, Wash picks up an item and looks at it weird. And you might recognize this item as the catalyzer it's that went cat- out <laughs> previous. <It's a> <laughs> yes. yeah. So I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it's what they needed. <laughs> and he oh, looks at weird hilarious. and then throws it. <laughs> I love oh my it. Gosh. It's such a nice little joke. I also love how Kaylee is grumbling. She's like, first time on the core planets. And what do I do? Dig through a junkyard. I can go to the triplex. And, and then she sees something. And she, oh, stabilizers. <laughs> Kaylee is having so much more fun in that junkyard than she would yep. ever have of in the triplex. <laughs> And Jane picks up the uniforms, IDs, and key cards mm-hmm. from a scrupulous looking man. Right, you know? yes. A shady looking shady character. Looking sure, who just sure. drops bags in the middle of the street and yep. just like, there you go. That's how you do it. I that's, guess. That's I don't know way. how it's like contraband sneaky... like drop offs work, but well, I feel now like you do. I guess I don't know. I just feel like the guy should have like ducked into the alley, maybe. Yeah. Maybe perhaps. It seemed a little silly. Someone I mean, on the street right going, there. Sir, you lost your bag, sir. <laughs> Then we get to see Simon training Mal, Zoe, and Jane to say the right medical terms that they'll need Which to get is into the hospital. Hysterical. It's such so good. a good scene. I love this. It's it's almost it would almost take too long. Like we would uh-huh. almost spend too much time here if I weren't having so much fun. Yeah, seeing these actors have so much fun having yes. to do the thing you do when you're acting and trying to memorize your lines. <laughs> Especially with the crazy medical jargon. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Jane so is struggling so much. So, I that. love when uh, uh, Simon turns to Jane and he's like, and the cortical <laughs> electrodes, and Jane goes, oh, 
we forgot him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again. Yeah. <laughs> he says something about if I wanted to be educated, I'd have stayed in school. If I'd have wanted school, I'd have gone to school. Hell, I don't know. It's so good. I love Jane so much. Oh, yes. And we see that Wash and Kaylee are working on this vehicle. They found mm-hmm. the, the proper vehicle, and they're going to fix it up and make mm-hmm. it look like an ambulance. It's actually an old... Uh, smaller prop helicopter from from movies it's been used before oh really it's like a scaled down helicopter that's why it looks smaller because oh. it was used for like shots where they could manipulate that oh that's but it works perfect for this yeah it looks like a sci-fi thing because it doesn't look quite right or quite normal for a normal flying mm-hmm. vehicle that's and excellent and then we finally see the ship presented in all of its glory and it's done and washington they Kaylee did a great job so they really impressed. did yeah, simon was right yeah, to be impressed definitely. yeah they did great and then mal zoe and jane walk out in uniform <laughs> it's like they're gonna pull this off they they are gonna make this <laughs> yeah. and then uh you know all we need is a couple of patients and simon goes corpses yep. for us to get in there river and i are gonna have to be dead and then jane again I'm starting to like this plan. <laughs> yes, <laughs> great wit. <laughs> and then we get Simon explaining the river what's going to be happening, saying that they're only going to be sleeping, pretending to die to get mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. And he asks if she understands. And then I love that she just says, "You're going to suspend cerebral, cardiac, and pulmonary activity in order right. to induce a protocomitase state." But then she's afraid. Yeah. And she doesn't want to go in there. And Simon comforts her and says, "It's going to be okay. It'll be fine. We're going to get in. We're going to get out. It's going to be okay." And he puts her to sleep. Mm-hmm. I really like, because we've just gone through uh, the build up to the heist, which is Mm -hmm. flashing so, so quickly between everybody doing stuff. And we're just like speeding through all of these like really frantic cuts and seeing all the stuff that's going on. And then when we get to Simon and River, the music has slowed down. It's no longer like the hyperactive, uh, like getting pumped, getting ready, 80s montage music. It's much slower. Um, They are, we're really taking our time with this scene. We are slowing down and just spending a little bit of time here. Um... And uh, I just really, really enjoy that juxtaposition. Um, yeah. I thought that it was really well done. Obviously, excellent writing, excellent direction. I um, agree. It's a sweet moment between them. And I think it's it's really nice to see uh, to see that dichotomy and yeah. her the knowledge that she has, perfect knowledge of mm-hmm. what will happen, mm-hmm. but still the fear and the childlike yes. just worry, the fear yes. of death, and I don't want to do it. Yeah. And... I actually found this scene really touching. Like we get just a little bit of River starting to freak out when she's like, no, 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 no. I don't want right. to do it. I don't want to do it. But I mean, like she's obviously, this isn't just our patented River freak out right. WTF moment. Like she's legitimately terrified. Yeah. Yeah. The last time that she was in an Alliance facility was of when course. they were, you know, oh. a- experimenting mm. on her and hurting her and, and doing all of this stuff to her. And she's and so afraid to be there. Knowing her abilities you wonder if she's seeing forward to what happens, but she doesn't right. have a full picture of it. So she knows that the oh, are going to get called and she knows that the, yeah. Yeah. the hands of blue are going to be there. Mm-hmm. And it almost makes me want look back even and wonder if she attacked Jane because she felt him betraying them, her already. <gasps> that's oh entirely gosh, possible. So I, I wonder if there's that. something in that. Where mm-hmm. Of course, that's not how a sane person would react even if they had a psychic reaction right. but because she has to feel everything to that nth degree. She right. just lash, lashed out. Yeah, and that's yeah, I mean, you just said it exactly. I mean, like we're going to learn so later in this episode smart, that because River's amygdala is stripped and she cannot push she can't have she can't not have negative feelings right she can't not be afraid or worried or anxious or Mm -hmm. nervous like all of that is on the surface all the time in full feeling and like girl i understand big feelings i don't know what life would be like if i like could not put those aside for Uh just a few minutes and what you just said vinton with her having to feel everything to the nth degree like absolutely and and it's just it's it makes the scene that much more touching for me, I think, mm-hmm. knowing what we find out later when we learn and we see like how horrified Simon is at what they have done to his sister. Yeah. And it um so rather than being uh, uh, tired of another like river like acting like overacting and, uh-huh. and like having this big reaction or whatever, um, it really like I said I find it really really quite touching. She's very afraid. I feel for her. Mm-hmm. I, I legitimately feel for her in this moment. I'm not just like okay, can we move on bef- beyond river like just being wild and crazy? But it's like right. oh. Oh, oh, this sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This really sucks. So we have the crew arriving at the hospital and bringing in the body bags, or I guess they're more like boxes. I thought they were <laughs> they're like really cool. Little they little are little really little neat. Look like, I don't know, space coffin Yeah, they shuttles. remind me of like they're guitar neat. cases, having carried around guitar oh, cases for yeah. so long. Yeah, like very structured like, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they come in and... Oh, right before that, we get uh, uh, the crew in in our little uh, ambulance oh, helicopters. Right. They're yeah. coming in, and I love uh, Mal just being like, you got a little stab the other day. That's bound to make anybody a yep. mite ornery and mm-hmm. jane's just like i know what i gotta do long as i get paid right i'll be happy yeah and yep. even says doc had a good plan mm-hmm. yeah yep 
Mm-hmm. But I think that we can tell here just a little bit of foreshadowing yes. with that line, as long yeah. as I get paid, Probably, I'll get happy. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I think that Jane has our, Jane was really pissed off mm-hmm. about uh, getting attacked by River and then was even more pissed off about Mal not listening to him and immediately right. kicking them off yes. the ship. Mm. And so Jane is here. We'll talk about this, I think, a little more at the end of the episode. But I wish that Ariel had aired prior to Jane's town. And we'll talk about that a little more. Interesting. I think when we get a little closer to the end, because this, uh, anyway, we'll talk about it when we get there. But sure. um, yeah, so we we see, I think that Jane has already made his decision to turn in River and Simon yeah. right. for the reward money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so they enter the hospital and the doctor says to uh, Mal and Zoe and Jane, what do you get? And uh-huh. Mal starts his speech. The, he's prepared and he's practiced and he's very proud of. He gets to DOA. <laughs> yeah, he says, a couple of DOAs. By the time we get, and they say, Take him down to the morgue. <laughs> uh, oh, I just gotta look at each other like, oh, okay. All this right. is the perfect <laughs> payoff. It's just the perfect it's so good. payoff. Yes. To it's that, such a great joke. joke. There, yes. you can just leave it there. It's fine. <laughs> it's yeah. a great joke. But then Jane in the background, <laughs> so upset that he doesn't get to even recite the line that he worked so hard on, just <laughs> rattles oh it right off. And everyone looks at him and rolls their eyes. And the doctor's like, I, "Like you can just see it on their face. I didn't ask. What? <laughs> too busy for this. Shit. We applied the cortical electrodes, but we're unable to get a neural reaction from either patient. Okay. <laughs> everyone just staring. Who asked you? <laughs> <laughs> You're just an EMT. Yeah, Mal and Zoe love, are just like, really? Yeah. <laughs> I love Zoe's face when she says, okay, take him down to the morgue. <laughs> and Zoe's just like, okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> they ain't got time to hear all that nonsense. Ain't nobody got time for that. So they funny. don't care where they came from. Just get them down there. <laughs> They're dead and move along. So then we uh, get uh, Mal and Zoe and Jane dropping off Simon and River yeah, in uh, in the morgue. In the morgue. Um, and then Mal and Zoe are going to take the uh, body casks, yeah, the, I guess, the, the, uh, and go the and cases. Col- the cases, <laughs> the body cases. Anyway, the neat things to go and collect all the medicine. And here's my question. You're Mal. You know that Jane is real sore uh-huh. about River having slashed him and is and you have already had to ask him, is there going to be a problem between right. you and Simon? Um, and sure, Jane responded with, no, I know what I got to do. As long as I get paid, I'll get happy, whatever. But why not just leave Zoe with Simon and River? Why not just take Jane with you mm. to go collect all the medicine? Yeah. I know that we did it because we need Jane to betray everybody yeah, right. in order for the plot to move forward. But it's just an huh. interesting choice. It's just one of those things where narrativium require that it, we right. yeah. Jane if I, with them. If I have to come up with an answer, I'm almost not going to like it because it's that Mal almost had a suspicion that it was going to happen and wanted to test Jane. That's what I was thinking. My but I don't other, like that. Yeah, <laughs> my other that suggestion <laughs> would be that uh, if Jane had so much trouble learning his line, that there's no way he would have been able to remember oh. all of the medicine names. But we see later that Mal wrote He's down all, all the, down. the names on his yeah. arm. I, I was so, going to say maybe he was more worried about him like in the moment where the where the doctor was questioning them in the hallway, but right. then again, oh yeah, I mean Zoe just Zoe reacts the same way. He the guy. same thing that Jane. Although that Jane, well, Jane, Jane wouldn't have snuck, just Jane would not him. have snuck behind the no, doctor. No, Jane might have just straight up punched that doctor <laughs> yeah. in the hallway. Um, Clear. <laughs> it's a good. But joke, the only right? other thing I can think of is that. Mal always works with Zoe, and that's his partner. And that's gotta they be do it. The She's thing. a second. Oh, yeah. And, and when there's reckoning to be yeah, reckoned right. with. And, and Jane's more of the bodyguard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So it's, so it's like, leave the bodyguard with them, and we'll go do our job. Yeah. Okay. So maybe sure. he just wasn't yeah, and thinking. I guess, yeah, and Simon knows where they need to go, so I guess mm-hmm. if you have to leave like some muscle with somebody, Jane is the muscle, and I guess leave him with Simon in case yeah, something sure. goes right. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> I, I accept all of this. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's when we learned that it was a mistake to leave Jane, because yes. Jane sneaks off and contacts someone hitting the police button on the little contact box. Telephonics. Yeah, yeah what, whatever that thing is. Telephonics. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> And he says that the fugitives are here and asks about his reward. Act two break. We come back to Jane returning to the room and River waking up, surprising Jane, saying copper for a kiss. It's an illusion to Judas Iscariot's betrayal of Jesus. Oh, yeah. They gave him silver, though, but but still. But but still, interesting. Copper is the Western way to say say money for a kiss. Oh, sure. That makes sense. kissed him on the cheek, got the money. You know, it's the betrayal there. Interesting. And you can tell that she said it because she got a psychic bit of something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he says, what did you say? And she looks like, what did I say? Why would I say that? 
<laughs> which Weird. I love that look on her face. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. And That's really cool. Simon wakes up with a coughing fit. <laughs> I love that. James yeah. like, well, your sister's fine. And then she throws There's up in the back. Oh, my gosh. And uh, Summer Cloud does such a good job. You see her like heaving and like yeah. shaking. I hate vomiting. Vomiting is the worst thing that a body can possibly do. Right. And I hate it. And it ugh, I'm glad we didn't have to see it. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that probably here is actually a good time to talk about this. So, like I said, I, w- I wish that... Ariel had happened prior to Janestown because so much of what was going on in Janestown was that we were seeing Jane experience this idea of what it is like to be a hero and to be a good man because all of the mutters saw him as this folk hero. They built a freaking statue for him of him. They had a riot on account of him. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I I feel like like at the end of Jane's town, whenever we've got Mal and Jane talking and Jane is saying things like, you know, it don't make no sense. They're Mm going to put that statue right back up, blah, blah, blah. Like I don't understand. I don't know, like, I, I understand that, again, Jane is supposed to be this bastard, this mercenary that, you know, like, is always supposed to be kind of, like, the jerk character, but if, I feel like I would believe this more if we weren't watching this show so critically and and observing things like uh, his very particular character arc in Jane's town. Uh-huh. So I wish that they were switched so that you could get this traitorous Jane yes. before the Jane that we see kind of starting to grow and mm-hmm. change a little bit in Jane's town. That's very interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, c- because it is a similar arc. It's, that's, it's, it's the similar struggle that, mm-hmm. that you see him going through. But I think you're right. I think it might have had a little more weight. There might have been a little more catharsis, especially watching Janestown. Yes. Second. Yeah. Yeah. Not and not so much. Like, I don't feel like Ariel misses because of Janestown. No, of course right. not. But I feel like Janestown could have hit harder. Jan- yeah. Janestown could yeah. have been more. Yeah. Seeing Jane's arc. Sure. Like, because what it feels like is going on is that we we are arcing Jane through Janestown. And then suddenly we're back where yeah. right. he's just a, a bastard mercenary. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that might be slightly a problem when it comes to shows like this, where you have different writers coming in. Sure. For different yeah. Episodes. Yeah. So they're, they're not always continuing where the last one left off, mm-hmm. even though they might have seen it. The other writer had an idea and right. ends it where they end it but they could have continued it further right, the right. comes in with their mm-hmm. own idea and sometimes picks up that character from the beginning of the show rather sure. than from the last yeah. episode right. well and what's sure. interesting is that we do get just a little bit of that also at the end of this episode whenever Mal tosses him into the airlock and Jane says what are you going to tell everybody about how I died and uh, he he Jane says is basically like pleading uh, make something up. Don't yeah. tell him what I did. Yeah, which I like to connect that to the yes. last episode and be like, he does want to be looked at as a hero. And he does yes. want to right, do exactly. Well. And he likes because later you will see that Simon thinks that he helped them and yeah. that he's the reason they made it out alive. Right. And it's, so he likes that. So and I guess can, it's almost, almost the same arc. There. It's almost. Yes. It's almost the same story, quote unquote, as as far as like Jane's character is going. Yeah. Where because in Janestown he betrayed Stitch and yes. ended up like mm-hmm. chucking him out of the plane as he was leaving or whatever. And so it's just it's interesting to see this same arc for Jane happen again right. just two weeks later, I guess mm-hmm. is all I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah, I do feel like Janestown would have had more of an impact if we had had this story immediately before because imagine even that like the first all he's the only like hero worship he's getting is just from Simon who says oh he did such a great job he did all this and oh, then yeah. to go into this village of mutters oh, where it's like this entire community yes. views him as a hero yes anyway yeah, like just that. an interesting quirk it I is. observed no I agree <laughs> I think that's the that's really smart. That so, would have been nice to see. So in their show, we cut back to Zoe and Mal continuing through the hospital. Mm-hmm. And Mal says, you see anyone, you smile. And Zoe says, I don't think anyone smiles in the hospital. <laughs> and Mal says, of course hospitals. they do. It's core. Everyone's rich and happy here. Why wouldn't they smile? <laughs> I love that you get that <laughs> way that Mal views the yes. core plants, yes. views the alliance and Absolutely. everything. And then we get introduced to uh, one of the guest actors of our episode who has a Excellent. very small role, but he's... Actually, a really well-known actor. You might recognize him because he's been in like he seventy did look different really TV familiar. shows. Like, yeah, is he one of those? Hey, it's that TV guy. Shows. Yes, and not be, many okay. episodes for most of those. The one that he's known most for, I think, is being Shia LaBeouf character's dad on Even Stevens on the Disney Channel. Uh, so that, he was throughout that whole series there. But he's yeah. also been on Freaks and Geeks, Roseanne, Malcolm in the Middle, Friends, Star Trek, Voyager, Arrested Jeez. Development, That 70s Show, Six Feet Under, Desperate Housewives, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Family Matters, Seinfeld, Home Improvement, Full House, Frasier, and a ton of other things. I want to list for the sake of my voice going out by the time I get done. <laughs> oh my god, that list took a million wow. years. Well, that man gets a lot of work. Good he sure him. does. Good uh, for you, I, guy. I actually like him on almost everything I've ever seen him on. So. Well, he does a great job. He's very believable. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah, very naturalistic. And we see that he 
is suspicious of Zoe and Mal. But before yes. we get to see what happens there, it cuts back to Jane escorting Simon the River. And they're getting through the recovery room. Mm -hmm. And Simon's assuring River this is where people come to get better. But mm -hmm. River says, no, not that guy. He's going to die. Nobody right? here is going to die. <laughs> not that he's going to. Yeah. <laughs> And then she says, no, you got to help him. He's going to die. They're killing him. The part here that I really, really enjoy is uh, whenever Simon is explaining to her, no, we're in um, we're in the recovery ward. Right. This is one of the best hospitals on one of the best, you know, th like this. This place is one of the top hospitals in the entire uh, system, all of this. And River just says, you should be here. That's where you should yes. be. That's yeah. where you should be. Mm -hmm. She, again, calling back to uh, safe. We even saw right. that in our previously on where yeah. it's like she she knows. She knows what, what all he, he has given up, up to yeah. come and save right. her and take Take care of her and um i really enjoy that we get to see uh rivers um psychic capabilities pop up here to know that uh there's somebody in here who needs her brother's help her yes. brother's an amazing doctor he's yeah. a genius he's brilliant and someone here is going to die yes if simon doesn't do something mm. it's at this moment that a code blue is shouted mm -hmm. and people are rushing to this man and Simon steps in and saves this man's life. Yeah. Realizes that he was given the wrong drugs because of the drugs he was already on from a surgery. And he right. yes. scolds the... Which the, any first year should yeah, have known. Mm -hmm. Any first year should know this. And causes a huge scene, actually. Mm -hmm. Your patient should be dead. And yeah. then just walks off. I really, really like this scene because this scene shows how competent and capable Simon is yes. in the correct environment. Right. right. Yes. That like, is true. It's, he is just as capable and, and strong and, and good and at, at what he does as Mal or Zoe or Jane when he's in the right place. Yeah. When he's oh, like, like following his Aristotelian mm -hmm. virtue to do the thing that he is best at doing Simon is amazing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I I couldn't agree more. <laughs> well, and it does show like what a doctor he is. Yes. Like he risked so much jumping in to save that man's life, but he yeah. knew that he could, and therefore he felt that moral obligation mm -hmm. to do his duty. And it was it was a lovely thing to watch, and to see River so proud. She's so yes. pleased. So yes. proud yeah. of her brother. Mm -hmm. It was pretty touching. Yeah. So we cut back to Mal and Zoe to see what's going on with this doctor that they encountered. And we get to see how much of a jerk Tom Virtue is here in this role. <laughs> he says, walk with me a minute. And Mal says, where are we going? He says, you see this badge? It says doctor. I say walk, you walk. And Mal says, yeah, but where are we going? He says, you must be new. Don't get comfortable. Your type doesn't last long here. When your supervisor hears about this rude and this, and then he screams because Zoe snuck up behind them and shocked him unconscious. <laughs> with and a defibrillator? The, the, the driest uh, read of this ever clear i love it so much it is really it's great it's really great why was he being such a jerk about that that was weird i would assume it's the stereotype like the you, stereotype i mean of i don't know liz you watch there. more medical dramas than we do don't some of the doctors act like a-holes i mean i guess so but this just seemed over the top because they were what in the wrong spot they got turned yeah. around Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Well, it's the exact same reason we <laughs> I mean, left Jane with yeah, uh, uh, the others because we needed it too. The only medical drama I really have watched is Scrubs because I have real bad medical phobias and they give me anxiety and oh, I have to yeah. laugh at least while I'm watching one. Oh that my goodness, sure. But uh, I could see that Doctor Cox being that way. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So the, then they go and they find the room that they're supposed to go into and realize their key cards don't work. Fortunately, yes. they put the unconscious doctor in one of their <laughs> bins so they use his key card to Good get thing in they the were supply carting room. Him around. Yeah, so I guess that, because uh, what Zoe says is they must have been demagged. Their ident cards right. must have be de right. been demagged. Um, and it's weird because they put their thumb on the little scanner, but I guess that the scanner doesn't actually read thumbprints. It's just reading the magnetic strip on the ID card. And then, I don't weird. know, it's like... You click the thumb scanner to make it work right because um, they just take the doctor's <laughs> ID card yeah. Yeah. and then put her thumb on it and then it just goes. Weird. So Maybe the thumb is just to know that somebody's there. I guess I don't know. Card. I guess it's I don't know. Uh, like I mean, even my iPhone has a thumbprint scanner, <laughs> uh -huh. but anyway, that did not exist ten years ago. I guess fifteen not. years ago when yeah. they were making this. That's true. <laughs> Uh, we after that we're able to cut really quickly over to we are cutting very super quick yeah, between and forth, Mal and Zoe uh -huh. and then uh, Simon and Jane and River we see Simon find the neural imaging room mm -hmm. which is like wicked intimidating right yeah. like it just looks scary yeah. here's a big chair that has all these lights around it and there's like nothing else in yeah. this room I don't know I felt like lights 
I, I felt like it looked less intimidating than, um, oh, you know, the, the tubes that they put you in now. Oh, what is it, like yeah. the, MRI the MRI machine, machine? and stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. That seems way more to intimidating. Those, I might have an anxiety attack. Yeah. Because then, I mean, and you can't move at all. Yep. Yeah. This at least was like a big wide space. Mm-hmm. So, but yes. It, but I imagine you couldn't move that much anyway. Yeah. Still, well, because he, if you're moving around, then I guess like your neural image is moving around. That's I don't true. know. You know, <laughs> well, and where science seems- and magic combine. It's like Asgard. You know that <laughs> scene in Thor, the combined. Dark World, where they've got that neural image thing of Jane Foster, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, it's magic. And she's like, it's quantum, whatever the hell. You know? Yeah. Science. Science. Science fiction. <laughs> it's just science that we don't understand yet. It's not the like quantum quote. image. Yep. Her. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> then we quickly cut back to Mal and Zoe loading up. Mal has a cheat sheet on his wrist, like you yes, said. Yes, yep. He's yep, got all these things yep. written down, and uh, they're just loading up those those uh, grabbing body everything. Cases. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guarantee. Even I mean, gosh, on the outer rim, even ibuprofen is probably going to sell yeah. for like yeah. twenty bucks, yeah. right? Sure. They have nothing. So they load up and head out, and then we cut back to Simon scanning River. And he says that they stripped her amygdala. They and also say uh, this is um, this is a scar where they cut into right. her brain. And they've cut in over and they, over and, and I over. love how like shocked and devastated he sounds when he delivers that line. They did it over and over yeah. and like he's sh- like w- why anyone would want to cut into a healthy brain he's right. like a pa- like we just saw him save a dude he obviously right. cares right. about being a doctor yeah, and about oath. yeah the mm-hmm. Hippocratic Oath and all of this and to see what they have done to River I mean like they had to cut open her skull they cut into her brain again and again and again they stripped right. her amygdala Poor, poor River. Mm. No wonder the girl is a little moon brain. Yeah. Yeah. And he says that the amygdala is what helps you keep from feeling worried or nervous or scared when you don't want to feel that way. Mm -hmm. And so because she doesn't have it, she doesn't have this filter that holds her feelings in check and she feels everything. Yeah. Mm. And it's at this point that Jane's like, well, we got to go. We're out of time. And Simon's like, that's not true. Yeah, Jane sure gets jumpy whenever he's about to betray somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And His guilt is starting to... It's good. You see, you see that he does have a conscience, yeah. so, which yeah. is nice. And Jane says, well, well, no, we are actually out of time. The plans have changed. I yeah. just didn't want to tell you. And River starts panicking at this point. And I feel like, again, she's getting some psychic notions of what's about mm-hmm. to happen. Mm-hmm. And they head out. And River knows something is wrong. She just knows. She's, she's just freaking out. And Jane leads them right into a trap. The, the federal marshals descend upon them, telling them to freeze. And we get our act break. Right before that, too, Simon like is trying to comfort River and help her. And he tells her we're almost home, talking oh, about right. we're almost getting back to the mm-hmm. serenity. And then friggin' federal marshals. Yep. Uh, damn it, Jane. What were you thinking? The money was too good. I got yep. stupid, he says got later. Got stupid. It's so true. I don't know how he thought he could just walk. Yeah. Yeah. What was What was he going to tell everybody else? Yeah. What was he going to say the, to Mal and the rest of them? It's the culmination of that, what, what it'll be like when the money's too good. It'll oh. be an interesting day that we heard in the pilot. That's right. Uh, That'll be an interesting day. One it of the sure interesting was. things in the book is that um, Baldwin, who plays Jane, mm-hmm. said that the way that he played this uh, role here was believing that Jane thought this was for the best for the Firefly and that everyone would understand. Oh. And so I don't oh. know that you can really say that or put that in there, but I like that he played it that way. Where sure, Jane, it does make because sense. Because Jane said that throughout the series, that it would be best for it the ship. It would be better. Yeah, it'd be a lot yeah. easier if we didn't have these fugitives right. on board. And so he's he just thinking, well, I gotta, keep, I gotta keep the ship safe. We gotta keep flying. We have jobs to do. What We gotta get rid of them. I'm gonna do what no one else has the guts to right. do. Right. Yeah. Type of thing. So I do like that kind of read in there. I don't know how well it fits exactly. No, but I be, think that's I a good interpretation. interpretation. Yeah. yeah, I like it. And I love that when we come back, we see Simon the River being handcuffed, but Jane also being handcuffed. And when he goes, oh, we're going to trick him. We're going to we're gonna make him look like I'm getting arrested. You're going to give me my award money. And he says, no, the reward's mine, yeah. actually. My reward my, money. Well, for Three my fugitives. Yeah, yeah, my fugitives. Yeah. And he just, Jane tries running, gets shot, and falls down because he realizes, oh, man, I've been played. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that, because that's what happens when you call the feds. Right. <laughs> yeah. Which is so smart. And it's true. Yeah. I don't know yep. how, again, he thought that he maybe could... okay i i know that i had talked earlier about how like i wish that this episode had happened prior to jane's town uh-huh. because jane wants so badly to be a hero maybe he thought 
that if if Baldwin was playing this role this way, maybe Jane thinks that this is the right heroic thing to do. Yeah. The thing that no one else is, you know, has yeah, the balls I mean, to, yeah. Yeah. Kind the of to do. The misinterpretation of Mal, right? Mm-hmm. Where he's going, well, it's my crew. I got to take care of my crew. I got to protect my crew from these two people that are hanging on and hurting us. And so Jane thinks and the best so, way to protect this crew is to get the two most dangerous yeah. people on right. it off it. Because he's he's misconstrued what it is to be a good captain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. and what it means to be a hero. It's not yeah. just doing the hard thing, it's doing the right thing. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I guess technically the right thing is to turn in fugitives, right? I mean, <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> not in this world. <laughs> not in this world, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just mean, th- it, that takes a great deal of trust to the Alliance that they're just going to look right. the let other him way walk. Yeah. and let him walk. I think you do get walk. to see there that Jane is smart in some things. No, no. No, no. Didn't think it all, all through. Nope. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> Money was too good, got stupid. Missed, yep. right. uh, missed yeah. the forest for the trees there. Yep. Mm. Uh, we cut to see Mal and Zoe getting back to the ambulance with the goods, and Mal starts to wonder where the others are because it's about time they showed up. Mm. Uh, we do see Wash and Zoe being very affectionate here, which yeah, I really like. I like and then too. Mal is like, hey, cut that shit out or we're, whatever. We're yes. job, Sorry, yeah. sir. I didn't mean to enjoy the moment, which <laughs> I liked. I did yeah. like that. And it did help me to forgive the the kind of cold, dismissive mm-hmm. little yeah. argument. Well, and earlier, I don't think that she was trying to be dismissive toward Wash so much as she was like, you know, it, it seemed like she had already told him, no, I'm not setting foot on that planet. Right. And he was kind of dogging her about it. And she's just like, honey. No, I'm not yeah. leaving the ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we see Simon here mistaking Jane trying to run and getting shot as him trying to rescue them. And he's like, oh, you almost had it. If you hadn't had the gun, you could have taken it. If they hadn't had him. weapons, I think you could have taken it. Yeah. And you can see Jane's face just like, shit. Yes. Yeah, he's just so annoyed by see. this almost. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, why are you making your guilt trip me and you don't even know it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It even made me wonder, actually, if Simon did have an inkling. And was just kind of like and rubbing him the wrong way. Just yeah. doing yeah. it. Like yeah. later, whenever Mal's like, oh, if you hadn't gone, you wouldn't have gotten your big payday to Jane. Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Maybe not. I, I think that Simon no. was. Yeah. 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 We learned uh, later in the yeah. series that he didn't know because yeah. he does find out later. And I, that's such a great moment, but we'll have to get to yes, that when we we'll get, get to it. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, then River, I think, getting another second notion that these hands of blue are showing up and that she might maybe get returned. Maybe she just, because she's with the Fed, she's afraid of it. But she says they took Christmas away. Mm-hmm. And oh, it's, a, it's like weird delivery of it is just, uh, on one part, it sounds, it feels kind of weird, but on the other part, it's just so sad. It's like a kid saying they took all my hopes and dreams and like yeah. everything that I wanted, oh. all that special magic from childhood. Mm-hmm. I think that it also. I'm so glad you said that because I was just like, what the hell is Well, I think that it also could be a here. reference to Jane's plan. Like Jane's idea is that he's going to turn in River and Simon and then get his reward money. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's going to be like Christmas. He's like giving them the presents oh. and he's getting his own present in return. You guys but then so the smart. feds show up and they're like, no, you're not getting anything actually. They took Christmas away. Right. Because she does seem quite playful in that moment. She yeah. doesn't yeah. seem like she's hurt or scared. Or afraid, or afraid. yeah. Afraid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jane certainly is way more scared than yeah. River is until she realizes that the blue-handed men yeah. are about to right. show Which up. Which is going to happen here in the next day. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We uh, seeing... I love, oh. just really Good, quick, yeah. I love whenever uh, the Fed is trying to like uh, uh, like square up to Simon or whatever and Simon's trying oh, to yes. just like, important people don't do field work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I You're love right, that. Simon is very competent in this yeah. episode. Yeah. Really and he throughout. says, the people that want us, want us alive and I'm not moving until you tell me what I want to know or shoot me. So. Right, exactly. <laughs> the guy does. Tell yeah. him what, Tells him what well, he wants. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Simon does a great job. Like Simon really is like learning how to uh, it would come into himself and like be um, be a hero and yeah. be be a scoundrel a little bit even yeah, and sure. uh, you know Mal even says boy's got quite a criminal mind on him or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Simon is just becoming more and more competent in all these various areas and um, I mean obviously he was very brave to go and try to get River in the first place like yes. I don't think that we get I don't think anybody could ever try to claim that Simon is a coward in any way right. shape or form mm-hmm. um, but yeah so he uh, important people don't do field work and then they begin to be led off by just a couple of the other feds and then uh, Jane and Simon are really great at fighting while handcuffed yeah. <laughs> with their hands behind their backs uh-huh. yeah. and 
like Jane well, is able to get his Mostly Jane. Hands... Simon just helps him out at the end when one of the right, guards like, starts to get back the up. Guy. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> Jane somehow is able to like get his hands back in front of him and is like strangling that guy, and uh -huh. the guy's like biting yeah, down on his oh, hand. It's so, oh, it's, it's so a little visceral. Yeah. And, yeah. and visceral, River just sure. by the door, like closing her eyes and like looking away, mm -hmm. and all of this. It's a great yeah. sequence. I really enjoy it. And we cut back to see um, Mal still worrying about them. Uh, they contact Kaylee and say, hey, do you hear anything? Is there, has there been any kind of security hey, alerts in the hospital? can you hack into the security <laughs> network for us just like super quick? Yep. Not only is Kaylee a great mechanic, <laughs> secretly a super hacker this whole time. Well, she Electronics seems to be speak picking up some kind of radio her. chatter. So I don't About think ducks. she's fully hacked in. Right. But she says, well, there's no security alerts, but... There's some weird chatter going on it's about ducks, and Zoe yeah. Mal immediately recognized this is a code that the feds use. Mm -hmm. and say the feds have to have them, yeah. and they prepare to go find their crew. Yeah, I love the shot of Zoe strapping her rifle to her leg. Yeah, like, very cool. She's so ready. Yep. <laughs> So Mal and Zoe wait, make their way through the hospital and Wash notifies them that reinforcements have arrived so they better hurry. Yes. And River and Simon continue their escape now armed with Yeah, Jane, after Jane has straight up now. snapped a dude's yeah. neck. Yep, Just, totally kills one of those guys. I completely forgot that that happened and I literally screamed, oh! Damn, like I it was it was shocking to yeah. see that. I mean, mm -hmm. I know that we've seen our guys like kill people before, but usually we're like shooting them and they are just dead yep. from a distance. Jane had to take this man's head in his hands and Holy snap smokes. his neck. Woo. Yeah. yeah, ooh, really intense because otherwise they were gonna get killed. And yep. it's just oh, it's rough. Mm -hmm. And we see River again having a, a psychic notion here saying they're here. Yeah, and we cut to these two men with their hands of blue, the, the blue glove mm -hmm. men, the, blue the same men. ones that played them before. Um, that talking one guy is super creepy looking. Yeah. They the are guy. damn scary. Yeah. Yeah. Super creepy. Like they reminded me of the gentleman from the episode yeah. Hush, yeah. Of the Vampire Slayer. Absolutely. Like they are too calm. They yep. are too collected. The the one guy is very gaunt. Like I yes. just don't like the way that he looks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, not a friendly fate, like bone yeah. in that man's body. Yeah. Uh, and then they show up with their wacko little electronic yes. thing. And, so, and that part reminded me quite a lot of X-Files. There's oh, a lot of yeah. X-Files in this episode, too. There sure too. is. Mm -hmm. uh, they talked to that agent that brought uh, Simon the River in, that had him handcuffed. Yes. And he's yeah. so proud. He's like, oh, we got you guys right here. Yeah, we talked good. to them a bit. We talked we to them like, oh, oh, you talked to them. You talked to them. Well, we and, didn't interrogate them. We didn't do your job for you. No worries. And that's but when I mean, they pull out the device. And it's like, did all your men talk to him? And they're like, yeah, well, they and so they kill all of them violently, horribly, really violently, Why torturously, so horribly violently. Yeah. Why can't you just get one of those blinky thingies like yeah. a men in black? That's no, why can't you just like shoot the dude in the head or something? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, there why is, so there is vicious? No need for this man's insides to bleed out of him. <laughs> yeah, they, he, there's blood coming out of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And all the of the orifices. Holy like, God. even his, yes. he looks at his fingernails, blood everywhere, yep. and, it's, uh, and his eyeballs coming out of horrifying. his mouth. Yep. It's terrible. Absolutely miserable. And that's our act break. <laughs> <laughs> These are the men who had hold of River Tam. Yep. Oh. These are the men that Simon snuck into wherever their headquarters was and took River out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, damn, Simon <laughs> might be the bravest guy on Serenity. Ooh. One of the few behind the scenes notes I have here was that they had a really hard time finding a good shade of blue for the gloves because blue is a is a the color they use for screens for digital effects. Oh, yeah. So they had to they find the perfect, screens, yeah, the perfect thing. Screens. And it was very hard, apparently, to find the right shade That's that hilarious. they needed. I'll <laughs> bet. Interesting. <laughs> So we come back from our act break and here are these men screaming and dying from Jane, Simon and River's perspectives. Yeah. This this sequence is so intense. Yeah. Like we it's very just, intense. It's very disturbing. Yes, it's re yeah, disturbing is the perfect word because mm -hmm. we keep uh cutting back to the the men in the blue gloves uh just I mean just a room or two behind yeah. Simon, River yeah. and Jane and like just seeing again, they are too calm, they are too collected. I don't like it. It it gives me the wiggins yeah. and I hate yeah. it. <laughs> I hate it so well, hard. So does River who yes. uh, who yes. starts to run as soon as she like hears the scream saying two by two hands of blue repeating it uh they show the blue hands men arrive at the cell mm -hmm. and they find the one guard still alive and like oh this one's still alive and they kill him with the device well, no, I, I, it's because the one guy goes this one's dead and the other one sort of pleased yeah. even well this yeah. one's still alive there's a please sounding to it which makes it that much creepier oh man they are who are these guys 
lies. Um, bad, I also have a note dudes. here. Yeah, it, bad bad dudes. That's who they are. I have a note here. Uh, River talks about uh, River's running, and uh, Jane says, "Well, where is she going?" And Simon says, "She must know about some kind of exit." And Jane goes, "Well, I don't see no exit." And my note is just, "Oh, Jane of little faith." <laughs> like, you haven't yet figured yeah, out. And and Jane wanting to go back the same way they came, and Simon's like, "Really, dude?" Like seriously? <laughs> no. There's like at least four feds out there. Yeah, six. six. I know. <laughs> But they do start to make it away, and they are blue hands are just one room behind them. And they get to this room where there's this locked door, and Jane tries shooting the door, and he's like, "Oh, alliance garbage." Yeah, because apparently it's just like some sort of like stun gun yeah. that doesn't actually do anything. And so he just starts hitting the doorknob yes. with it, trying to break it. Yeah, and then. I laughed out loud at this scene. Uh, we get the gunshots. The yes. door flies open. There's Mal and Zoe standing there. And Mal just looks at them and, like, gestures. The little head nods. The little head thing. Like, like, let's go. Like, like what no the hell? Words. Let's go, guys. Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> Come on. Like, <laughs> Perfect. It was perfectly and, and executed. It was. And the blue hands enter the room, looking at the the door swinging there, obviously having missed them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Because they would have... Oh, that would have been the end of the show right there. I mean, I don't. I, what were we going to do? I guess Zoe would have maybe shot those guys in the heads, but I yeah, feel like they would not die. No, I feel like they'd probably just get back up and... <laughs> and keep on keeping on. Q1000 style. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. But uh, it's interesting that River knew exactly where to find Mal and Zoe. Yep. Again, yes. that we had talked a couple episodes ago about um, it's possible that River has this very specific connection with Mal Uh when we were, uh, the episode Safe, I think it was, when we were talking about how she didn't react until Mal turned and saw that Shepard had been shot on the ground. It's So it's kind of interesting to kind of like follow this weird little rabbit trail that we've developed Uh where like she just has this connection to the people of Serenity and and knows, you know, where they're going to be and where to find them and where to end up so that they can be rescued. So she didn't since an exit she sent dad oh, oh. <laughs> every time Vinton. you kill us Vinton I like that every yep. damn time and she knew he was coming to save them yeah oh. And Mal is the best dad. I, I love this this cut. We get we cut straight over to uh, Kaylee on the ship, this is and so Anar has returned, and she says, "Oh, hey, Anar, how was your checkup? Same as last year. What's going on here?" And Kaylee oh, says, "Oh, well, let's see. We killed Simon River, stole some medicine, and now the captain Zoe are off spring, and the others got snatched by the feds. <laughs> here they are now." <laughs> right? <laughs> and Anar's just like, "I'm sorry, the hell did you just say?" <laughs> and the oh, ambulance lands Kaylee. in the cargo bay. Uh, the crew gets off uh-huh. and they say, and Mal says to Nara, hey, how was your thing? And then Nara says, as advertised, lots of needles and cold exam tables. I heard you had some excitement. And Mal goes, nothing much. Lots of running around, a little gunplay, a couple, couple of needles. needles. <laughs> Mal and Nara talking about their day it's is just, a, just I love, so freaking adorable. I love adorable. that Mal's line is, hey, how was your thing? Like, yeah. <laughs> love like the carelessness of that right? um and then we go over we see jane just like next time i'm getting off with a preacher or whatever right? and that's when we have mal like clap him on the shoulder and says oh but if you hadn't gone you wouldn't have got your big payday and yeah. you just hear the malice in his yes. voice like he's oh upset. yeah mm-hmm. but the moment i love immediately after that is mal mm-hmm. reaches around grabs kaylee the flips mal and kaylee pulls hug. her into yep. that hug that was totally nathan fillion apparently too that wasn't scripted at all oh, and joss so was perfect. like that's staying in that's perfect it was yes. so <laughs> yes. cute the baby is sister and it's yeah. just oh it's so so good yeah i like here that simon sings the praises of jane yeah. for helping them escape completely unaware of his betrayal totally sincere is like yeah. we wouldn't have made it out yeah. if it weren't for him like that was i seen think him when i wondered if he suspected i yeah. like that he didn't but that's yeah. when i wondered because yeah. it was just mm-hmm. so perfectly timed to right. make jane right. feel like a complete and jane's ass. response what does he say something like you know just uh, someone uh, just doing the job or something yeah just doing the job or something to that effect I, I do like that simon says that they did get helpful info they were oh, simon says enough. drink oh, drink, drink. drink. <laughs> <laughs> so they do have the good info for river this was a successful mission completely yeah Yes. Uh, and at that point, Mal sends the crew off and asks Jane to help him with the cargo. Stay here and help him with the cargo. And then he knocks Jane the F out. Yeah, he I sure love does with like a wrench or something. Is, because right? Jane says, what are you going to do with your cut? Smash. <laughs> Not yeah. a word. Smash. And he looks pissed. Yeah. Oh, he my is, gosh. There is some Malcolm serious Reynolds righteous anger going is on. is so, so mm. angry. Yeah. I love this scene. Yeah. yeah I think that probably the... It's bad enough to mess with a father's children. Sure. Yeah, some from the outside. But to come into his family, claim to be his family, oh. and then mess with his children is so much worse. Yeah. 
So this yeah. scene that we get between Mal and Jane, my note just says this whole scene is perfection. It is so yeah. good. It's so, yeah. so good. Yeah. I love Jane trying to explain, you know, I, mm. I would never do that. My hand to God, let right. him strike yeah, me down where I stand. It's interesting. So Jane wakes up in the the airlock there between right. yes. the doors mm -hmm. and with the communicator, which I thought was really good that they're not yelling between the glass. They have yeah. a communicator mm -hmm. to do this right. It's and he does detail. say that, he, oh, I didn't do that. I would never do that. He yeah. just denies the whole thing. And he's begging saying, don't, don't let me out here because if you're going to kill me, just shoot me. Just shoot me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And finally Mal gets the confession. Jane says the money was too good. Call back again to the pilot. Right. And Jane asks him to be reasonable it which, weren't like I turned you into the feds. Yeah. Which uh, th that line, be reasonable, is the same thing that Mal said to Jane when he first met Jane and his crew uh, standing on the edge of the oh. He said, be reasonable. Oh, and so I wonder if he said that on purpose or if that was just yeah. a nice callback in the show there. But I do like that when he says, it wasn't like I, I did it to you. Mm -hmm. He says, but you did. Mal <laughs> gets so <laughs> yes. friggin' pissed off so in beautiful. this moment. Is, yeah. Yep. You turn on any of my crew, you turn on me. If it's such a concept you can't seem to wrap your head around, then you got no place here. You did it to me, Jane, and that's a fact. Mm. God, it is so good. It is good. It's so, so good. Oh, my gosh. And I love Jane, his, we mentioned this a little bit earlier, but Jane realizing that this is this is how I die. This is yeah. the end of me. And he says, what are you going to tell everybody else about how, mm. about how I died? What are you going to say to him? And uh, Mal says something like, you know, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't really thought, thought about, about it. it. I hadn't yeah. thought yeah. about it. And Jane goes, make something up. Don't mm. tell him what I did. Mm. Yeah. And so it's good. just like, even though I know that Jane is a bastard mercenary, bad, bad yeah. man, and he needs a mommy, he gets these little <laughs> moments. Yeah. You where need it's a just, mommy. You're a bad man and you need a mommy. I love that movie. It's so good. <laughs> it's really Let's good. watch it yeah. soon. Um, But it just... He he realizes that he absolutely made the biggest the biggest mistake he could have possibly made, and knowing how Simon just sang his praises to everyone else in the crew, mm -hmm. everybody else as far as anybody knows, you know Jane was the big hero and was yeah. taking care of Simon and River and was was being the oh, big brother type he needed to be. Together. Yeah, and the only one oh, who no. who kind of put it together was Mal, knowing yeah. otherwise. Right. Jane is begging, pleading, yeah. don't tell and him I what do I like did. I do like that coming off of Jane's town, as we mentioned, where yeah. he's yes. like, I was a hero to some people and it made me feel good again and yeah. I screwed it up, didn't I? Yeah. Mm. It's so, so good. That and I good. think this is planned by Mal here. I don't think that Jane convinces him to open the door. I think that Mal's plan was, we'll see if you're human. Yeah. If you can show humanity, you can live. And if, oh, you, can, yeah. if you don't show humanity, you're out. Mm -hmm. And he sees that humanity in him, wanting to be a hero and realizing that he really messed up. And he shuts the cargo bay door. When he hears it that. It keeps him grounded. Yep. <laughs> Mal walks off, sticks the walkie-talkie in the window and walks off, and Jane's just like, can I come out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <okay>. Mal? <laughs> <laughs> and then we cut to our final scene. Uh, we see River coloring in those little, those Russian nesting dolls. Yeah, really, yes, really which really I good. thought was really a neat, uh, just a neat choice. It is a neat choice yeah. because I'm certain... That it means something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, don't yet know what, what exactly. Except that, it exactly. Deeper into it. Except that <laughs> I mean, we are learning bit. that um, River is sort of like rushing nesting dolls, right? I mean, like we look sure. at her on the outside and we see there's this damaged girl who is broken. Right. But then we also know there is a genius in right. there. We yeah. also uh -huh. know a there child. is a girl, there's a child in yeah. there. We also know mm -hmm. there's a girl who she is acting the way she is acting because she literally cannot help it because she was abused right. and, and has, yeah. she mm -hmm. has no choice. Like mm -hmm. her brain has been altered and there's nothing she can do. Um, so probably something along those yeah. lines. Yeah. But I also like the idea that there's something inside of her. That's what the feds want so there's, yeah. there's prizes oh, inside yeah of that's good too Very yes yeah so yes. what we're saying is that the rushing nesting dolls were not just a oh yeah. here's a cute little coloring page do yes, this i'm no, sure very not deliberate choice yeah mm -hmm. um and simon comes in and he's like hey what are you doing uh drawing and he's like hey that's really good like that's that's great yeah. and he is so proud of his sister like yeah. she's doing something really constructive mm -hmm. here uh rather than the destructive activities we usually see her right. doing because she can't control herself um, and so then he pulls out uh, the syringe and she's like, time to go to sleep. And then he has this look on his face, which is just s such sweetness and love. And he says, no, May May, which is Mandarin yeah. for little sister. 
it's time to wake up. Yep. Very sweet. And that's how we end our episode. And that's the end Such of the episode. a great ending line. And I like that so she good. was so trusting. Like oh, she yeah. was willing to go back to sleep again if that's mm-hmm. what her brother told her to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's beautiful. Yeah. It's really great. Another really excellent episode. Yeah. yeah. So let's geek out about this episode. <laughs> I love my cat, Dan. What was your favorite part of this episode? My favorite part is the joke with everybody trying to learn their medical jargon lines and then it's not so needing good. it. It's yeah. just <laughs> it's spot so, on. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Because we spend all that time, like I said, it would almost be too much time spent on that scene, except it is legitimately really funny. It's and so then great. the payoff is we don't need I any of that. Know. It's great. Oh, it's yeah. great. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's I mean, I know we just talked about I hate having to pick the moments we just talked about, mm. but it's that moment with Mal and Jane. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. you get to see this. Yeah, you messed with my family. Yeah. I, I'm the father to this family, and you messed with it. Yeah, and then at the very end, you get that forgiveness that you can still be a part of this family. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think my absolute favorite moment in this entire episode really is whenever Jane says, "Don't tell him what I did." Yeah, yeah. I think that's my very favorite part. Yeah. It is good. Who gave the best performance in this episode? Do you guys think? <sighs> I think Simon. He did a dang good good job. job. He did. It's hard for me because I want to say Simon or Jane or River, maybe even. Everybody, I feel like. There's a lot of good performances in this Yeah, everyone was like really on point with this episode. I don't think that anybody stood out in particular. Um, I know that we talked about Jane a lot, but everyone else was also doing like a really fantastic job. I just like the emotional reads that Simon gets with his sister. Yes. Yeah. 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 Simon or Jane, I think I do think I'd have to go with Adam Baldwin. I think that he showed a lot of subtlety in this episode. We don't always get subtlety from Jane. No, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. Subtlety is not the name of the game with Jane. So we saw kind of a a, a different uh, set of chops. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll definitely say Simon knowing that you're picking Jane for me. (laughs) I will say both because I can pop out in that way. Uh, Or I'll pick Mal because, I mean, whenever Mal gets angry at the end with Jane, I'm like, my God, I believe it. Like, Uh I sure do believe it. Goodness. It's good. Yeah. And that wonderful little head nod. It's just so good. Yes, it's good. We don't even need no dialogue necessary. Just the, (laughs) what the hell? Let's go. It's so good. So, yeah, so good. Sure yeah. Is. Okay. Yeah. I picked Nathan Fillion again. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for being a part of the live tweet. If you don't know about the live tweet, what are you doing? And we mentioned it every single episode. Tuesday Mm -hmm. nights at 8 p.m. Central. You can follow along using the hashtag MFShindig over on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at ElsaGrabTheSalt. I'm at LizBethRay555. I'm at Flesh Either. And if you'd like to hear more from me, check out the Graphomania Podcast Network at graphocast.com, G-R-A-P-H-O-C-A-S-T dot com. We love Graphomania. We love we sure uh, the Graphomania Network. Uh, mm-hmm. They are our sister network, yeah. as we say. <laughs> we're basically one big network. We're basically guys. one big network. Yeah, we're like the east and west wings of the White House of podcasts. <laughs> Uh, or whatever. Uh, if you want to hear Coast more, Avengers. that's right. Uh, if you want to hear more from speaking of Avengers, if you go to Graphocast, you can listen to our hilarious Earth Four Hundred Five. Yes. Uh, that's right. Uh, Avengers role playing game, which is a ton of fun, and a whole yep. bunch of new episodes of that are about to be put up very very soon. Um, if you want to hear more from Common Room Radio and the stuff that we do, you can follow us at Common Room Cast. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash Common Room Cast. You can send us an email at podcast at Common Room Radio dot com. And if you like the show, you like what we're doing, and if you want to support us, all you have to do is head on over to patreon.com slash common room radio and you can kick us a dollar a month or whatever you can afford if you are a patron of our show then you get to listen to the gag reels for uh-huh. every mighty fine shindig yeah. episode um they i i was doing every single episode i've actually done it now to where i add like uh like uh, like three or four episodes at a right. time in order for it to like be worth it yeah so um, just two minutes so, right yeah. exactly uh so yeah head on over to patreon and become a supporter if you want to be able to listen to that we'll send you a really nice postcard i might draw you a picture it's totally awesome it's a lot of fun uh we would not be able to do this show without our supporters and without Mm -hmm. uh all of you lovely wonderful patrons thank you so much um without you guys we would not be in the air with this show and this ship and this crew you Uh are our crew (laughs) love it well again uh thank you guys so much we love you all i am sarah kate bizant and i'm liz stevens and i'm vinton bain and the next time you decide to stab me in the back have the guts to do it to my face. No, I can't laugh at that. It's so right? intense. <laughs>
Ooh. 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 Say it again. <laughs> 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 Chills. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>